If you're interested in refreshing an old slide deck for a particular season or holiday, there is an easy way to do that within your slide authoring program um, called Slide Masters. What I have on my screen right now is an example of an old slide deck, and I want to update it for Halloween. What I did was I went into a program called Canva, and I created two slides that I would like to use to update the, the aesthetic look of the slide deck that I just showed you. So here we have a title slide um, that has these jack-o'-lanterns, and then I'm going to continue the jack-o'-lantern theme on a slide that is more appropriate for um, a content slide layout. So I'm going to download these as image files and then head back over into my PowerPoint and go into Slide Master, which is the place where I can globally change my, the format of my slides. If I click on View from my ribbon, I can click Slide Master and then scroll to the top. Sometimes this does get bumped down and you may start editing individual slide layouts instead of the global slide layout, which is the one that's at the very top. And from here, I'm going to update the background and it will apply to all of the other slides that are um, below it. Click the slide and then click on background styles and then format background. From here, I'm going to say picture or texture fill, and I am going to select a, the file that I downloaded. So click insert from file. And I have to navigate to find the images. And here I'm going to actually select the layout for the content slides. As you can see, this image applied to all of the slides below it, except for one, which is our title slide. That will not receive the global master here. Um, that doesn't mean that I couldn't use it. It's just another step in the process. You can also see that this image was retained. Why was it retained on the slide? I don't want it there. That's because it was added to the format of the slide as a shape. So I'm going to click here and actually remove the shape and you can see that it removes from all the slides underneath it except for one. And that is a slide that did not have that shape to begin with. It has its own shape, this sidebar shape. So I'm going to click here and delete that as well just in case I want to use that layout somewhere along the line. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my title slide. So here I'm going to click on the title slide and do the same exact thing. Click on background styles, format background, and then I'm going to select picture or texture fill and insert and then select the file from my computer. Now here are some additional things that I want to change in the style of these slides. I really don't like this blue text on the gray background. I want to make it black. So from here, I'm going to select this text and change the text color to black. I also don't like where the black is overlapping. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it in a little bit. And then I want to center it up on my screen. So I'm going to align center. I don't have a subtitle for my presentation, so I'm just going to get rid of the subtitle option. Um, and then I also am going to go back to my slide master, the global slide master for the content let slide layout. And I'm going to select this blue text and make that black as well, just to match. And I'm also going to select this text because you can see the pumpkins are taking a, a good bit of space from the slide. And I'm pretty sure that on my content slides, the text is going to run into these pumpkins. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and make this a smaller 
font size so that way it'll shrink up the text on my layouts and I could do that globally from here without having to go back to my slide presentation, my slide deck, and go through everyone individually. So I'm going to make this 24. And then I'm going to head out of my slide master just to see what this looks like. So I really like how the content slides came out looking good there. That was easy. Here you can see I have one that's kind of running into um, the text is running into one of the pumpkins. I would either just shorten up the text or maybe there's a way I can expand it. Nope, it doesn't look like that's going to work. So I'm going to have to just manually here make this text a little bit smaller to shrink up. And then here on my title slide, you can see that it didn't work. My title is here over the pumpkins. Why is that? That's because at some point I must have manually moved to this text box from the original slide deck. So I'm just going to click on layout and apply the title slide format. And you can see it just quickly applied to my slide. Lickety split. I'm, I'm ready for Halloween. The next thing that I want to point out, and I, I guess I should say the final thing is that the slide master is not a feature that's exclusive to PowerPoint. You can also globally format slides um, in Google um, as well as Keynote. In Google, they call it themes. So you're just going to want to update the theme for your slide. I'm going to click change theme. Sorry about that. I'm going to click edit theme. <laughs> and then I have um, my masters here as well. I can go to the global master, click here, click my background, choose the image, and then upload that same exact image that I did previously. And you can see it will apply to my slides. Likewise, if there is a, a separate title slide format that I would like to use. I'm just going to click on that layout specifically and change the background. And there you have it. You would continue to um, refine this and you can apply this to an existing slide deck or a brand new slide deck, slide masters, and um, in Google Slides, the theme. Great tool to quickly refresh your slide deck.